Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Google, and in this tutorial, I will be covering a basic version of arrays. Uh, this array tutorial will actually be split up into two videos. Uh, we're going to cover just how to use arrays for this one, and then in the second part, we'll be covering uh, basically how to incorporate arrays and loops together to get all kinds of neat results. And if you're like me, you're not going to see a use in arrays at first. And then once you actually start using them, kind of experiment with them, you're going to be thinking, these things are amazing. You're going to want to use them in a ton of different things. And they really do help out once you get the hang of them. Okay, so we'll begin with creating an object, and we'll just label this obj array and go into the create event here okay so basically what an array is is a big variable that just holds multiple um, multiple things uh, like data like numbers and tiger strings you know things like that it just holds a bunch of stuff it holds more than just one thing like your ordinary variable so how you create an array is simple it's kinda like a variable so first you need to name your array for this tutorial I'm just gonna name it array and then add a square bracket and a zero inside of that and then you'll set it to what it equals uh, let's say we'll just use an, a name let's use my name okay so that is how you create an array uh, you can add more to it by taking this and copying it and adding or increasing this number by one and we'll name this something else like my brother's name and you have an array now what this number is is each um, each key in this array is numbered so you can keep track of them so number zero in the array is my name but number one in the array is my brother's name okay so let's set up well actually let's just go to the draw event for one and show you how to draw an array to the screen it's actually similar to a variable again okay so once you get to the string you just type in the name of the array and then in the uh, square brackets you type in which uh, you want to show like if you want to show uh, my name you would type in zero or if you want to show my brother's name you would type in one so let's go on ahead and show both of them Okay, so let's add that and run it. Okay. So you can see that it has output the value of array 0 and array 1. Okay. So another way you can access the values of these arrays is through a variable. Say if you have a variable called n and it equals 0. Okay. So let's set this or change this around a little bit. And instead of array 0 or array 1, we're going to set it to array n. So whatever n is equal to, that's the value it's going to show. Right now, n is equal to 0, so it's going to show array 0, which is a Nicholas. Okay, so we can actually add in another event, just to demonstrate this a little bit more. We'll use a key press, enter. 
and we'll tap in n equals get integer okay so this is just gonna get any integer you add and store it inside of n okay so let's go ahead and run this again okay so right now it says Nicholas but if we hit enter and type in one it'll show Chris so that's how you can access an array through a variable now you might be wondering what if you enter a number that you haven't used in the array well let's try it you get an error that is because this array doesn't have a value for number 50 it just doesn't exist so you want to make sure that you don't go out of bounds with your arrays which is fairly simple to do uh, uh, you shouldn't really have a problem with that unless you're allowing users to interact with an array in which case you will want to make sure they don't top in a number that is out of bounds okay so that should actually be very very easy to do now let's cover something else arrays have two components you can have a one-dimensional array or you can have a two-dimensional array what I've already been over is a one-dimensional array okay so how you set up a two-dimensional array is about the same way top in array or the name whatever you want to use and in the square brackets you'll have zero but this time you'll add a comma and another zero okay so let's use this as kind of uh, a class we'll have zero equal to Nicholas and then we'll go to array zero one and we'll set that to my age which is 17 and then we can take this and add in one to these and change it around to uh, my brother's name which is Chris and his age which is 23 so this is a two-dimensional array and to access this it's about the same way you'll just type in uh, what part you want to access which is zero zero let's type in right here name copy that and type in age and we'll use that okay and when we run this I actually have just remembered a problem that we're gonna encounter Uh, I didn't put this down any, so the text was just going to run together. Now, as you can see, it has my name and my age. So that is what a two-dimensional array is. Once again, you can access either part through uh, a variable you'll just have to say put this as in both of these okay we already have that so when we run it again actually removed in so let's add that back okay and run it again and this time it should work
Okay, so when we type in 1 and 0. So that is how you use a two-dimensional array. Now you can you know how to use a one and two dimensional array. This is a very basic tutorial. Uh, go on ahead and experiment with it. You know, just play around, add as many values as you want. You know, just play and have fun. Get your head around how they work. And in the next tutorial, I will be explaining a more complex system of how arrays could be used. So that's it for this tutorial. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.